Hi guys, a few days ago, probably, a few days ago, there was a message somewhere on the net saying Neofetch died, right? It's not dead, right? It's just that it's frozen, it's not maintained, and nobody will ever take a look at it. Not that it matters, right? That's the point of the video. It doesn't really matter. Because as long as this works, it's fine. You can keep on using Neofetch. So how do we get this thing? Let's talk a little bit about Neofetch. How and why is this thing here? Because of either BashRC, ZSHRC, those are all shells. And if you install fish, it's gonna have here a folder called fish with also a config. So this is BashRC, meaning if you don't wanna see it, and that's the point of this video as well, we will just stop using it. We'll just forget about it because that's just a user's prerogative. Choose whatever you like, right? That all, all things work. And yes, probably Neofetch will work for years to come, right? But yes, the developer says I have other things to do. Now, if we update our system, we'll see that I've made three new packages. Well, a lot of packages come in. Let's go for it. And in the meantime, we can see that the Arch Linux Suite tool does not have an issue when you update. And there was somebody now on Telegram saying there was an issue, right? I don't know what's going on, but let's prove you to you again that we did not do that much changes. But yes, we always update our next week tool, of course. And um, this will change as well. So the Bash RC will change, the Fish will change, and the ZSH will change. And what we'll do is the following. We'll just say that there is also, besides NeoFetch, FastFetch. So it's also a video about fast fetch is this important in your system no no it's totally unimportant right getting some information some about your your machine you know what you've bought you know your machine so it's interesting to share for somebody but then again Control t you uh, just type new fetch and that's it right share it screenshot boom done do we need to be greeted every single time with that no so Control t is just a blank screen and that's how we will move forward from now on and you just go in here and say i want to have fast fetch okay fine but if you want to well if you want to use it you need to install it so fast fetch is not installed yay fast fetch fast fetch is coming from extra so arch we have the git version if something happens to the thing right and they fixed it on git now we can move to the fast fetch git version and this is our configuration arclinks fast fetch git is the config how will it look it's my decision you make your own config right you just change the things that are in here now at this point in time i can't yet install it because rule number one there can be only one pacman active he's active right he's doing things so no way i can't install it yet so i'll have to wait for that in the meantime hmm, what can i tell we can set everything up pseudo pacman minus s so there's the application and this is workflow thing right this is so common in all things here in linux you have an application and a configuration and it's an i3 and bspwm an i3 app and an i3 configuration so well it's critical for a tiling winner manager it's less critical for fast fetch right but nevertheless let me just tell you that now i did did see that this thing still loads up broadcom and real tech do you have them if you don't have them you run this right remove it if you don't have those hardware stuff why do you need the software stuff All right so buy this and then we'll just install this one now in this big bunch of stuff is the new fish the new root for bash rc and the new zshrc somewhere in here right so what you do if you want to well, let's first have a look. 
new fetch, right? We are on Bash. Okay. On Bash, then there is an alias. The alias CB. What is the alias CB? Copy Bash. Copy ATC Scal Bash or C Bash or C Execute Bash. How easy is that? CB. Boom. Right. What happens? We've added this here fast fetch and neo fetch. Let me do the example again. Save. Let's put them next to each other. Right? CB. Check. Fast fetch is here. So from ETC scale to your system, it's not active. It's the point is that it's not active. And if you want it, you just run fast fetch. Do you want it every single time you boot up? Then you need to say like this or in ZSHRC, etc. Control T, Control T, Control T, Control T. It's always going to be there. And as you see, this is the look. That's the default look. Our look to get something similar. It's not exactly the same, but something similar from NeoFetch. Super Shift Enter. Go to the file system, etc. Scale. I can type scale in a terminal if you don't know yet what it is. Do look for information. But here is fast fetch. And it contains config JSON C, which means I need to do manually if I don't want to copy paste everything. Control C, Eric, config, control V. That's it. That's basically scale. Scale has also a backup. When I ask fast fetch again, it's going to look different. It's going to have other information, but this isn't right, I think. So this is the information that you get and there shouldn't be any colors. You see break. That's the last thing. Actually, we can get rid of break. Something to do for our next package. So we have locale, power adapter, disk swap. What do you want to see? What do you want to get in your fast fetch? Fast fetch is pretty much the same. This is the fast fetch. I think it is correct. Okay, cool. So clean or clear, depending on the system you're on. This is clean. This is neo fetch. Still working. We'll still keep it around until somebody, somebody says it's all broken, right? And then neo fetch goes out. But there is an alternative if you want to use the fast lane or whatever, update and move to something new. Then is, this is fast fetch. As you see, it looks a little bit different. Some information here and there. Um, but yeah, it's just a choice. It's just what you want to have. And this is the difference. You can freeze the frame, freeze YouTube. And again, right, you don't have to use ours, Arclinx fast fetch. It's not going to be on the ISOs. Fast fetch will not be there. Mm, and I'm thinking even to get rid of NeoFetch on the ISOs as well. So you choose, you install whatever you want. There are lots of things in the Bash RC screen fetch, ALCI, PLO fetch, F fetch, H fetch, S fetch, U fetch. I mean, right? Choose what you want to be greeted with. By default, we'll do it like this. Control T, voila. Do you want us to know something? Okay, then you install the package. Maybe change, oh, does something else. Fast fetch is something else. <laughs> then you type this in and then you know, okay, I'm using this amount of memory, for example. That would be interesting to know. Um, okay, maybe some disk space, but you know the disk space is here. 18 gigabyte. All right, that's the news video. Probably we're gonna call it news video, right? Well, sure, yeah, maybe it's a combination, right? Choose what you want to use. Fast fetch by default, it's gonna be looking like this. Remember, that's more important, I think. Remember CB, right? This is so awesome. Boom, it's there. And CZ for ZSH RC and CF will not work because huh, it did work. But there is no fish installed. So the application of that, just the file is there, which, right, you need the application, you need fish. Anyway, 
that concludes the video have fun with fast fetch and all fun or neo fetch it will probably work for years to come right and it looks nice as well uh, all good you choose cheers